though we we uh, as said you know a lot of uh, people would say we would uh, want more women in the parliament so that you know women's issues could be addressed it doesn't happen necessarily you know just having women in the parliament doesn't mean that all women would like to talk about women a lot of them may not feel comfortable talking about them but having women there uh, is a role model for women who are not there yet for them to look up to and to plan to be there and then hopefully we'll get more and more women uh, who will be you know thinking along the same line and uh, speak up for them so women's quota is important um, I feel at least in our situation uh, uh, you know in 1960 when the um, central uh, Tibetan administration was uh, established and the parliament was established uh, we did not have any quota so it we ended up having a parliament uh, with no female parliamentarians then in 1964 uh, the seat was reserved for women and so people had to uh, elect women and then in 1975 from 1964 to 75, quota was there. And in 1975, uh, we said after, uh, was it in 19, yeah, 75, uh, they did away with the quota system because, oh, this is, you know, not necessary. Women should be there. Based on their own merit and uh, not somebody who needs to be pushed to that. And then it ended up, you know, women not getting elected. And for three terms, there were no women parliamentarians. People did not elect. And then in 1990, that parliament was dissolved, and then the new parliament. Uh, came in with a larger number of parliamentarians and a reservation quota system was reinstated. And then women got elected, not only getting elected, a uh, lot of them got you know, the maximum number of votes. So it seems like you know, if there are seats reserved for women, then women do get elected. But if there are no seats reserved for women, then women do not get elected. So in a way, what I'm trying to say is, in our um, community or culture, uh, people don't see women as leaders. And uh, if they have to, you have to elect a woman, then they'll have to work hard to see, okay, who, who could I elect? And then they'll have to do some research, they will have to do some discussion, and then have to find somebody. But if they don't have to, then women are not so visible in lots of these decision-making bodies. This is one uh, reason why I wanted to work on this. Um, but if you look at all the decision-making bodies, women are absent. So it's a culture where um, you know men are naturally seen as leaders, men are naturally seen as decision-makers, and women are uh, you know, in the domestic sphere, and people would say, okay, Tibetan women are doing, they're very independent, they're doing good business, they're really contributing to the home economy. So that's where it ends, you know, they're happy with that. So that means if women are absent in the um, decision making bodies, they are not visible to the public because public sphere is mostly uh, taken up by men. And men are easily visible, whereas women are not visible. And because of their invisibility, uh, people immediately will not think of electing a woman uh, as a parliamentarian if they didn't have to. So that's why mm, I think a quota system is required in uh, some cases.